What is up guys, Petrify here and I have a huge announcement today. So we're going to be streaming the PFRL top 8 uh, teams today. And these are teams that made it all the way through qualifier bracket. And these top 8 will be fighting for the top 4 to get into semifinals and then finals. And what's really cool about this, we're actually doing a loser bracket as well. I don't feel like explaining everything how that works, but loser bracket still has a chance to come back and win. But the chances of that happening is very low. So basically loser bracket is fighting for 3rd place in a way. But I'm pretty sure they do have a way to get back and still win the event. But it, it goes into detail. You guys will learn all about that if you guys search it up. With that said, we're going to be streaming at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when the first match starts. So if you guys want to be there for the match, uh, the first match is going to be Raven's Cage versus the Exotic Sniping. Now, if you guys don't know, first place, uh, I know a lot of people are questioning about the uh, prize pool and what people are winning uh, if they win these events. First place is going to be 500,000 credits. Now, the, they will have to split this between their teammates however they want, or if they agree for the five players that played in the event the whole time, we'll get the credits they could do it that way this all it goes by them we are just distribute distributing the credits they decide who it goes to and how much goes to who second place we 125,000 credits in the game we really want to do robux like i said uh we have developers on our side so technically we cannot do robux because that's again uh against robux tos so we're not allowed to do robux i wanted to but we cannot third place would be uh 25,000. like i said they had to decide where these credits are going to which person out of the team and who is it's going to and everything like that so there's only a first second and third pricing uh for prize pool so if you guys don't get top three you will not obviously win any credits or anything like that now if you're curious to know what the matches are for today uh all the matches i'll explain them all right now so we have match one which is raven's cage versus exotic sniping that's at 12 p.m and i'm hoping both teams make it uh on time and we don't have any problems by forfeiting uh, a team or anything like that so i'm praying that the team makes it on time that's at 12 p.m eastern standard time uh and we're expecting these matches to go about for 15 minutes we actually usually matches take around 30 35 to 45 minutes so we added an extra five minutes just in case uh so each match uh is expected to go for 50 minutes long and then we have for our next matchup is uh chroma gaming or Rushers versus Chroma Gaming at 12.50 p.m. So if you guys really want to see Chroma Gaming fight, uh, fight it out with Rushers. Be there on time, and that match should be starting around 12.50 or a little bit later than that. The next matchup after that is Furious 5 versus Vortex, Vortex Uprising. I think that's going to be a really, really good matchup in my opinion. Uh, Vortex actually got a really good team now. Uh, they had a good team beforehand, but now they have even better by picking up a couple players uh, last minute before we close rosters. And then we also have Furious 5. Furious 5 has actually played very well in the qualifiers. I'm very curious to see where they go. I really want to see one of these teams that aren't known uh, in the competitive league to actually make it into uh, the top four. Just one of them. I don't care if they lose in top four. I just want one of them to make it in top four. Uh, so it kind of motivates some of you guys that are just new to competitive league to actually make a uh, team and actually join in and at least try. And the next matchup is Shadow Rain Redemption versus Chaos Gaming. I think Chaos is going to take that one. Chaos, Chroma Gaming, and Raven's Cage are definitely the top three best teams in this. But I still want uh, the lower ranked teams that aren't really known to make it through the top four. And I'm praying, praying that at least one makes it through. Please. Uh, I hope so. Hopefully nobody gets disqualified. I hope everybody makes it on time. Uh, because I don't want any DQs or anything like that. They'll be pushed straight to the loser bracket if they're not there on time. So hopefully that all goes well and we don't have any issues like that. But it's bound to happen. We can't really uh, compensate for everybody's time zone. It's almost impossible to do that. Um, but yeah. So if you guys are curious about what our next event is going to be and when it's going to be. It's going to be sometime after the holidays. So after uh, Christmas break and uh, winter break. All of that. Uh, after all that is over, we'll be doing our next uh, event after that. And it's going to be one of the biggest events ever hosted in Competitive League. And hopefully everything goes well. There will be more information on that later on when that event is coming around. And I know my recent video for PFRL wasn't really too detailed. We'll definitely go more in detail, go a little bit slower for you guys, and make sure we go step by step to show you guys how to sign up and everything. Uh, and it will be a lot easier for you guys. I know people were confused and I apologize for that. I, I was really tired, like I literally got no sleep. I was up all night setting up the rosters, doing everything like that. So I do apologize for that video. I should have got sleep before I made that. Anyways, I'm going to go. Hopefully you guys are there. Remember, it's 12, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when we're starting the stream. If you guys can't be there on time, you guys need a notification to pop up. You guys don't know your time zone and what time you got to be there for your time zone. You can either Google it, search it up, or you can turn on notifications, which is the bell notification down below, and you get notified whenever we do stream. Now, the first uh, commentator is going to be me and Mr. I'm Harmless. 
Uh, so if you guys would like to be there and watch all of that, uh, me and Harmless have a really good personality. We're funny, so it should be entertaining for you guys. We're also going to take the commentating pretty serious. I'm not a commentator, so it's going to be really cringy if I ever try to commentate. So hopefully I don't, and Tyler can do it all, and I just talk. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, I'm going to go. Thanks for all the support. Hopefully you guys are there. I can't wait to stream this. I'm excited, but I'm going to go. Peace out.